Hey guys, Iceman here, and this is my Javazan once again. I started playing with her a little bit more. You see, I made a sorceress, a cold frozen orb and fireball sorceress. I've been doing a lot of runs with her, but the thing is, she's not handling the Chaos Sanctuary very well. Now here's my gear. Check it out. Nothing too special. Ooh, I'll explain that in a moment, okay? Don't freak out. Good old Storm Shield. Silk Weave now, yeah. I love to hurl the javelins like a freaking bat out of hell. You know what I'm saying? So I like to have the return on mana upon kill. Because trust me, with this build you get a lot of kills. But I have a teleport ammy right there. You know, it just has charges of teleport. Because I just get sick of running in the River of Flame. You know, it kind of winds around at random here before you actually reach the Chaos Sanctuary. Oh, shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Those guys are going to beat my ass. <clears throat> I thought they were going to beat my little tail. I should be good now, I believe. So let me equip my Cat's Eye Amulet. But this character just runs the Chaos Sanctuary no problem. Even though you almost saw me get slaughtered right there. Look at this. I even have a uh, Curse Wand on Switch. With lower resist. On it. Gee whiz, they're beating my tail right now. The only problem are those wraiths in here. Because everything else, look at this, no problem. And this is being generous. <laughs> it just rips right through these knights. Look at that. Just absolutely slaughters them. <laughs> yeah, it's epic. It's very uh, satisfying to be the cause of so much death upon your enemies with the Javazan. <laughs> Lightning Fury, there's just something weird about it. it. does so much damage for some reason. And the on-screen damage, of course, isn't squat. See? But I have a jab on Q like that. Because it really helps take out these casters. And if you up your titans like I did, you know, you'll be fine. Now, I'm not using my ethereal ones because, like I said, I like to throw these things like a bat out of hell. So cut me some slack, man. You know, don't bitch at me for that. Please? <laughs> so you uh, do the little wand thingy on switch, and you can easily take care of these guys. I mean, especially if you, you know, curse them like that. Boom. And then you hurl your javelins at them, and there they go. Oh, rare jewel. See, me really wants to get me's an affinity. Rune word. I probably could have had one by now, because as you can see, I made my chains of honor with a burr. <clears throat> I traded a high rune for the freaking griffons. A sir rune, mind you, so half a burr. And I've attained quite a bit since then. Yeah, I could have I could have easily made an infinity by now. But I didn't really want to do that right away. But now I'm kind of looking back wishing I would have. But look at this. Holy shit, you see I just ripped through those guys? Yeah. Diablo is... Diablo 2 is better than D3, okay? I mean, I've said this in a few of my previous videos. Ooh, unique crit. That in Diablo 3, everyone gets a trophy. You know, it doesn't take much just to uh, get the sets. You know, the, the sets are extremely powerful. Almost all of the builds are just around the sets. And it just starts falling like freaking pancakes, you know what I mean? I suppose that's not really a saying, but... It falls. It rains like cats and dogs, or like like uh, like godly items. It's, it's raining continually in D3, especially when you get to the higher torments. But that's another thing, there's just like 15 different freaking uh, difficulty levels. Keep it simple, man. Go back to the way D2 did it. You know, have three difficulties. Make hell more difficult, if you must. 
But in D2, it takes forever to get the really good stuff, if you want it. And the thing is, the really good stuff is game-changing. Like Infinity, for example. Once you get that, if you're a Lightning Sork or a Javazan, <clears throat> you can just start running everywhere. And just slaughtering everything in the multitudes, you know? That's not like Diablo 3. You know, you can't just work your tail off for just doing a ton of runs and still barely find, you know, the good stuff. Like any of it. I mean, you could play the whole season if you're not, you know, being very efficient without finding, you know, more than one or two high runes. And Diablo 3, if you just, you know, go through the ropes within a few days, you're going to have your full set. You're going to be running, you know, the highest torment and you're just going to be... Uh, trying to get up in the higher rifts or whatever but you gotta have the incentive to to work hard and Diablo 3 doesn't have that you know and it it um, the reason being is it taps into those natural imperatives that we all have you know what I mean to search and to find uh, to hunt and gather to work hard man that's what Diablo 2 has. You have to work hard. You have to be a gatherer. An efficient one at that. So it it digs down deep, you know what I mean? Into the roots of basically our own biology. <laughs> As to what stirs us up to want to keep playing it. To get the really good stuff. It taps into that. To our nature in that way. It coincides with it, you know what I mean? I mean have I explained enough yet? elaborate enough on that little detail that's what keeps you going wanting to play Diablo 3 when you get the really good stuff it, like I said everyone gets it very soon there's just not that competition thing involved anymore and that's what's so lame it's not it doesn't have that competitive edge <laughs> when everybody gets a trophy yeah now I hope, I don't know, there's a D2 remastered or something, with an extended expansion, things like that, more additions. But I hope that they keep the difficulty and the competitive nature there. You know, keep stuff extremely hard to find, some of the best stuff, and have game-changing stuff that's really hard to attain. All right? <laughs> like Enigma and Infinity, for example. Game-changing items. That are extremely hard to get. You got, you got to find the root. You got to be good at saving up. Because people who get a high rune will just trade it off. You know, the ones who aren't good at that. And then they'll never get the good stuff. You got to be good at hoarding your little nuts. You know what I mean? And then making the good stuff. And Diablo 3 lacks that. It lacks the competitive edge. It lacks those details that do tap in to our imperatives. You know what I mean? Our natural imperatives. Hunter-gatherer-esque stuff. So, I just hope that it you know goes back to that, or Diablo 4 does. Come on, man. You give everybody the freaking trophy. I mean, the game gets old fast. You know, when everybody just wins continually. It gets old fast. Like, I was playing with my wizard on Diablo 3 a few months back. Only playing for, like, a little while. And, you know, I had all the... The whole set, obviously. Of whatever build I was going with at the time. I don't remember. And it was fun. But then I got to the highest difficulty. And I just started... You know, everyone was just wasting everything. And there was so much godly gear flying all over the place. So many uh, uniques and legendary items just all over the place. It was just getting too much work, like identifying them and selling them or crafting them into the freaking uh, brimstone or whatever. It just got old because it happened just there's too much. And you already have like the basic, basically the best stuff anyway. You can make minor refinements, you know, try to get your ancient version of this or that with perfect stats. But I mean, essentially, everyone's running the same builds and uh, they're really easily attainable. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, I'm on me search right here. I'm looking for the bare runes. The 
burr runes, yeah. I'm searching for them. Haven't found a single one, obviously, yet in this ladder. I found some high runes, but not a single burr. That's what's so cool about it, is it can take forever to find it, and it keeps that anticipation going. So I hope that they get these things right, you know what I mean? And like this video, if you will. You know, let's get the word out there that this sort of stuff needs to return to the Diablo franchise. Whether it means in the remake or the remastered version of Diablo 2 or Diablo 4. Let's get the stuff back in there, all right? So like this damn video if you haven't yet and subscribe. More videos to come on here. I am the Iceman. Peace be with you.